All right guys, so it's finally time for my one year review on the Coach Mini Cash and Bag. Is this still one of my favorites? Stick around. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style you're gonna find right here on this channel. So before we go any further, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments, find me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. And before we get started, I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. I turned 34 on Sunday. Oof, it's rough, I know. And I'm just very thankful that, that everyone said happy birthday, reached out, it was very sweet of you guys. So with that said, my birthday weekend vlog will go up on Friday, 10 a.m. Central Time, and then the unboxing reveal of what Zane got me for my birthday will go up on Sunday. So get excited, because it's coming. So what are we talking about today? You're like, oh my gosh, haven't we talked about this bag before? Yeah, you're right. Hold on, there's a point to this, I promise. Maybe, kinda, we'll ramble and we'll get there anyway. This is the Coach Mini Cash and Tote. And if you all remember, I actually bought this for my birthday last year. So I've had this for about a year now, actually a year. My uh, Apple iPhone photos reminded me like, oh hey, on this day a year ago, you bought this bag. I'm like, oh cool, okay. So here we are doing a one year later review. Now, I just rewatched the original review on this and snooze fest, I'm sorry I put you guys through that. I hadn't quite found my voice yet here on YouTube. So hopefully this one's a little better, but then watch a year from now I'll watch that and then be just as cringy about it too. Anyway, it is what it is. Now, this bag is probably one of the most used in my collection and it's chalk, if you couldn't tell, that's Coach's white. Chalk is in reality kind of, it's a warm white. It's not like a pure white, it's not a cold white, it's a warm white. So with this shade of white, you could easily wear this year round. I think it looks great in the summer, it looks great in the winter. It's just a really good shade of white. With this bag, they've also accented it with the aged brass hardware, which I like. However, the bag itself, with all the little coach stamps throughout, like all the rivets on the bottom, here, there, and everywhere, it is stamped coach 33 times. On this itty little bitty coach bag, it says coach 33 times. A little insane, however, from a distance though, unless you knew Bonnie Cash and Designs or Coach, you really probably couldn't clock this as anything. Actually, we were at Zara in the city last year and someone's like, oh cute, I love your Prada. I'm like, I'm not wearing a Prada today. Oh, this, thank you. It's actually Coach. No way, really? I'm like, yeah, they're getting good again. This bag has gotten me through thick and thin in the last year. Typically when we run into the city or like just on a busy weekend, I will switch into this just because it's so lightweight. It fits just enough of what you need. It can go crossbody or on the shoulder, sits in your lap, really small if you're at like a tiny bistro, can sit beside you on the chair. It is such a perfect size for a bag. Now, don't get me wrong, I am kind of shopping around at Fendi at the new mini sunshine totes. Low key, the wasabi color is fire, so Zane, that's a Christmas hint. Anyway, so what exactly are the dimensions of the Coach Mini Cash and Tote? Again, I love that about you. You're so curious, stay curious. I have the dimensions here pulled up. It is five and a half inches in length, six and a half inches tall, and three inches wide. Now, price point, what, what does a mini cash and cost? Well, it depends on how much you wanna spend, quite honestly. For the chalk leather and for the coated canvas signature, both are 250. Should the canvas signature be 250 as well? Probably not, I'd pay maybe like 200, 175 for that, but the leather version at 250 is pretty good. What did you pay? 250. They don't count, huh? No, yeah, surprise guys. It hasn't seen a price increase, which is kind of amazing. Now, there are two other versions. There is a brass rivet version. I think it comes in blue and green. That one is priced at 295. If you wanted to step it up, you could pay 350 and instead of the brass rivets, you would have crystals. Are they Swarovski? I don't know. Is it necessary on such a small bag that's already pretty well designed? I think it's overkill, in my humble opinion. I said what I said, don't hate me. So you're probably curious, like, Caleb, what does such a cute little bag fit? I'm here to show you. I love that you're so curious. Keep asking questions. I love that about you. Let's check it out. All right, just look at that bag. Is that not stunning? It is minimal, it is aesthetic, it is a vibe. We're here for it 100%, not gonna lie. Gosh, I love this bag. Anyway, so you're probably wondering like what all fits? What, what does the inside look like? Again, stay curious, love that about you. So inside there on the back, you just have the story patch. On the front, you have like a little card holder slot. Again, I don't really use it very often. It's a little loose, not gonna lie. First and foremost, we have our cell phone. And I even have a pop socket on the back. So this actually fits in with all of my essentials, which is great. We'll just place that right to the back. 
Next up, we can't go anywhere without our card holder. This is just an older made for factory turquoise card holder. I think I have the story about it in my coach collection video. My most important thing, especially if you're on the train, headphones and this cute little Balenciaga portemonnaie. All right, and then last but not least, the Chanel chapstick, which will slide right down in there behind the phone. Now, you could put in your key holder. This is a six key holder from Prada and almost get it to close. Normally I would take my pop socket off if it's in this bag. Actually, that's a lie. I would have my phone in my pocket, but I just wanted to show you guys what fits. Overall, pretty roomy little bag. Doesn't weigh a whole lot. There is some heft to it now that it's loaded up, but overall, it's pretty phenomenal. It's, it's cute, it's small, it gets the job done. What else can you say about the perfect weekend bag? I absolutely love it. So the most important question is, is there any wear and tear on this bag? After a full year, carrying it on the weekends, especially in a dirty city, I mean, Chicago's really not that dirty, I don't know why I said that, but carrying it through the city, it's gonna see a lot of bumps and bruises, right? Honestly, you guys, it's pretty flawless, I'm not gonna lie. Now there is some wear, there's a little bit of rubbing on the feet to be expected just from, you know, setting it down on places. It's gonna happen no matter how much you spend on a handbag. Is it really bad? No, not really. It's just it's just starting to become noticeable, which I'm fine with. The back side, this is where it's gonna be across, you know, when you're wearing it cross body, this will go against your body. I'm not seeing any color transfer. Looks like there is a tiny spot here on the back, but I think quite honestly that was there when I bought it. Again, if you need to relive the horror that was buying this bag, link down below. It was a terrible experience. Almost killed Coach for me for a while, but I'm glad I didn't let that happen because I've gotten some really good bags lately this year. Now, there's no color transfer. Again, though, I'm pretty smart about not, you know, wearing a dark denim with this or anything that would rub. So typically like a synthetic fiber jacket or a coat works best with something like this. The front just has some heavy veining from the, the natural animal hide. And then the interior, it's that really pretty kind of cross-hatched 1941 interior. Yeah, nowhere in there either. This does have a card holder inside. However, I just carry a card holder with it. The leather on the card holder is kind of loose. So I could definitely see, you know, if the bag were to tip, that would fall out. This little tab across the top though, the, the magnet's pretty strong. So if it was to tip, it takes some effort to make that unsnap. So that's pretty good. Overall, would I buy this bag again? Absolutely. In fact, I've been waiting on more leather colors to come out. I think like a really pretty light blue or a light pink would be a lot of fun. They had a dark green, not my jam. They had a, they had a yellow, not my jam. So I'm waiting for some more colors. I don't need the rivets or the crystals. I just want a nice simple leather bag. So if this came out in like another color, I would snap it up in a heartbeat. I do love this bag a lot. Do I recommend you buy one? Absolutely. I mean, hello, is it not obvious? This bag has been phenomenal in my collection. It definitely, it fills that weekend slot. So, you know, all week long to and from work, you're carrying your big fancy designer bags. On the weekends, you just want to be chill vibes only. Throw something over your shoulder and then just like go and have fun. I could easily take this into a bar and not really worry about it, to a festival. I think this actually went to um, the Christmas markets with us at least once or twice last year. So it, it's, seen some, it's seen some action and it still looks pretty darn good. For the price point, I absolutely love it. Am I kind of looking at maybe upgrading to like the Fendi version? I mean, I wouldn't get rid of this. It wouldn't replace it necessarily, but I would like to add that one to my collection. That's just what I love about Coach. A lot of their bags, they're, they're fairly well made for their price point, let's be honest. Decent hardware, decent leather choices, nice interiors, pretty strong design aesthetic, and it's at a fraction of the price. Typically bags like this at other houses will be anywhere from like 1500 low end up to like 2500, depending on where you're buying it from, what it's made from. This does everything those does, and sometimes even better. I don't have to really worry about this, which is great. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Like I said, make sure to catch my weekend vlog coming up Friday, 10 a.m. Central Time, and then the birthday reveal Sunday, 10 a.m. Central Time. And let me know down in the comments, did you guys buy this after I revealed it last time? Are you still on the fence about one? What are your thoughts? Do you have one? Let me know in the comments. I'm just interested to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, guys, until Friday, I hope you have a wonderful week. Stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you guys then. All right, bye-bye.